Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. This week's problem of the week was to find the number of unique pairs, a, b, where a and b are natural numbers and b is less than a, such that this equality holds 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1 over 12. So, to get started, we'll just start manipulating that equality. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is combine these into one fraction. So, by combining them into one fraction, we get a plus b over a times b is equal to 1 over 12. And then we can cross multiply, and we get 12a plus 12b equal to a times b, and we can bring them all to the same side. Now, um, what we can do is um, <clears throat> complete the square, which may seem weird since there's no squared term, but I'll add 144 to each side and you'll see what happens. And we can simplify this into a minus 12 times b minus 12 equal to 144. So what this problem comes down to is factorizing 144 um, and then getting a and b from there. And if that isn't clear to you, uh, that's okay because I'm going to write out a chart which hopefully will uh, explain things. Okay, so what I have done is I've taken 144 and broken it up into its different factors. Um, and then from there, so I have a column of a minus 12 and a column of b minus 12. And what I've done is just added 12 to each side to arrive at values for a and b. And since these are the only ways that 144 can be factored into two different whole numbers, or not whole numbers, but natural numbers. Uh, these are the only uh, values of a and b, um, natural values of a and b, such that this equality holds. And therefore, there are only eight different ways, uh, unique pairs of a and b, such that this holds. Um, and a couple things to add to this, um, which, if this was too quick of a problem for you, you can try to prove these on your own. If you have 1 over a plus 1 over b equals to 1 over c, a couple of things are true. a squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to a plus b plus c squared. Um, you should try to figure out why that's true. And also, if a and b are relatively prime, or if the greatest common factor of a and b is 1, then a plus b is a square number. That's another thing that you should try to figure out uh, why is true. And with that, that is this week's problem of the week. For more problems of the week, you can click right here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click there. To visit the centerofmath.org, you can click there. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of the screen with all of the same links. Thank you very much.